channel. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make the very famous McDonald's cheese milk dippers. Break down my walls, you know you got me standing so tall. With your love, ain't gonna fall. Because you see me right through it all. With your love. I know that many of us are very gutted that McDonald's are only selling these milk dippers for a very limited time and we all love them to pieces unless you're vegan of course and you probably don't want them because they are cheese but I know that many people love them a lot including myself and although I don't live near McDonald's I've had them for and OMG I love them so so much and I thought I'd try and make my own because as they're probably not going to be selling them for much longer I thought if I can make them at home and can show you guys that you can make them at home too then we can save some money do it at home save some time where you don't have to go to McDonald's to pick them up and you can also have them any time of the year but anyways let's get into the video apparently all we need to make these delicious milk dippers are baby bells breadcrumbs an egg plain flour and some oil preferably vegetable oil I have no idea if this is vegetable oil or whether it's sunflower oil or what I am not sure I think it's sunflower oil but I have to check with my mum before we actually get onto the oil part and then other than that all you need is a fork I'm using three bowls and then another like mixing bowl sort of thing. So that's pretty much all you need. It's really not much. And you will probably have a lot of these things in your cupboards at home. According to express.co.uk, the first step is to gather ingredients. You'll need one baby bell per dipper. So we've got all of those things. Step two is to whisk an egg in a bowl. So I've got my egg right here and I've got my mixing bowl here. So I'm going to crack the egg and then whisk it in the bowl. That was not hard enough. Ooh! I did it! Hey, let's whisk it up! Alrighty, I think we're done. Step three is apparently to remove the packaging from the baby bells. So I'm gonna do that. I've got six baby bells because you can obviously order like a pack of six, I'm pretty sure, from McDonald's. So I'm doing it as if I'm gonna like receive a as if I'm gonna receive a pack of six from McDonald's. That's how I'm kind of doing it, and plus you get six in a pack of baby bells anyway, so <laughs> We now have our six unpackaged baby bells and the next step is to cover them in flour or coat them in flour. So I've got some British plain flour. It says you can use normal flour or self-rising flour. I'm assuming plain flour is normal flour. Seems it's plain, but um, I don't know for sure. But anyways, I'm going to fill up this bowl here with flour, not fill it quite up. I'm just gonna put a little bit in because I'm not entirely sure how much we need. But I would rather put less in than too much, otherwise I'm going to have to take it out. I assume that might be enough. Oh, this actually sticks fairly well. I wasn't really sure how well flour was going to stick to a baby bell, but it sticks very well actually. And then I just got a clear plate, so you could put this on kitchen roll or you could just put it on a plate and then I'm going to pop them on there. <laughs> that we need to cover the flour covered baby bells in egg so I'm gonna pour this egg into this tiny bowl and then I'm gonna put the baby bells in this bowl and like put the egg on them and then put them back onto that original plate again
we now need to fill up another bowl with the breadcrumbs. I've just got these golden breadcrumbs from Sainsbury's. I don't think I'm going to need that many. I've kind of overestimated the amount of things I needed throughout this whole video. But I'm going to tip some of these breadcrumbs into this bowl and then we're going to dip the baby bells into the breadcrumbs and get them covered in the breadcrumbs basically. Right, so let's tip these breadcrumbs into this bowl. I have no idea how much we're going to need. Probably more than that. Because obviously each one needs to be coated in it. I'm going to estimate about that much, but that might still be too much. I'm not too sure. But now we're going to coat each one. Let's go. good so far they actually look like the mozzarella dippers which is a good start so fingers crossed after this frame I won't ruin them this next bit you might need adult help for depending on how old you are I've actually got my mum here to help me because even though I could do this myself I don't really know what I'm doing so you need a frying pan and some oil for this next step like I said it's supposed to be vegetable we got some flour I'm pretty sure but I don't think it really matters and then you need to heat up the oil until it's it says until it's hot enough to fry the baby bell in. So gonna just put some oil in the pan and I'll show you these next few steps and you can do it with me. I've got my tongs and I've got the mozzarella dippers and we're gonna pop them in the pan. I'm actually scared if it splashes me. Ah! them oh my goodness look how black it is on that side mm. <laughs> they're nice but really oily too much oil mm. really good. i could make them again goodness. just don't put them in the frying pan for too long have them enough a couple seconds each side Plus it tastes like cheese on toast <laughs> i would say overall it's like a half success half fail it was half success because they do taste nice and they, they, they worked out okay but slightly burnt a bit oily maybe they need to like dry out a bit but then you know next time how to improve it and it should be really good yeah exactly because they do still taste really good so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed i was gonna wave but i've got things on my fingers <laughs> but thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon lots of love spark rewind bye <laughs> mum's helped us out this morning <laughs> Polly's come up the window to see he wants some cheese dippers. <laughs> Bye!